All right, so this is how you fold an origami erg. This is what it looks like when it's folded. You will be using a one by eight piece of paper. So let's make that first. Just fold a normal letter sheet in half. Kind of hamburger style. And then fold. I'm gonna do a diagonal along that line. So we're gonna line this edge with the middle crease like that. And then along this line, we're gonna fold. Fold it like that. So you're gonna make this edge flush with that line that we just made over here. Okay. And then with this, we're gonna fold this into fourths, like hot dog style. So do that, fold this in half. And then I'm gonna fold this in half again. So we're gonna take this edge, and bring it to this middle line. And now this rectangle here is one by eight, and that will be used as the paper that we're gonna use for making the erg. So let's just rip it out. Real quick. Okay, we got this piece piece of paper. Now we're gonna fold it into fourths again along the long side. So hot dog style. Let's just do that real quick. Fold it in half. Okay. Then we're gonna fold it in this thing in half again. We're gonna take this edge up here, fold it into the middle, just like this. And then we're gonna take this edge, we're gonna fold it to the middle as well. We're gonna unfold these edges like that. Okay, that's one edge. Do the other one. Now we have this, and then we're gonna make um, a diagonal like this, and then we're gonna make use this as a guideline, and then we're gonna make another diagonal like that, and then we're gonna make a diagonal like that. That will make this part will make the kind of damper for the erg. So let's do that. Fold this diagonally on the corner like that and make sure it's aligned make a guideline over here and then we're going to use where this diagonal fold intersects the edge i'm going to fold it at this point like that make some folds here and then do the same thing where this line over here intersects the edge we're going to make a diagonal so, I'm gonna hold it like that. Make sure it lines up. Okay, diagonal. And then we're gonna make another diagonal. So we're gonna take this edge, we're gonna fold it up, and then we're gonna fold it up such that this edge over here, it touches this edge over here. All right, just like that. We're gonna unfold it. Now we're going to do some reverse folds to make it more symmetrical. So we're going to open this up. So there's like a valley fold over here, valley fold over here. These are mountain folds. These are going to turn into a valley. So let's fold in like that a little bit. And then now you have a valley fold. We're going to make, gonna fold this in, collapse it just like that. And we're going to unfold this and then refold it back. Now we're gonna do a fold. We're gonna fold this edge in. We're gonna fold this edge in. We're gonna lift this up, and then we're gonna make a fold that makes kind of like a diagonal, a diamond shape, kind of like that. Do a petal fold, that's what it's called. Kind of bring this flap up. We push these flaps in. 
push this one in as well. And then you want to collapse the paper such that it folds to a point like that. And then fold it down. Do the same thing on the other side. Lift this flap up. And then it's going to bring these flaps in. I'm going to fold it in all the way. And then you're going to Uh, take these flaps and then collapse them into a point like that and then fold it down Okay Now we are going to take this unfold one flap fold this long strip up like that and then the point where this top of the diamond it intersects the paper we're gonna make a long fold over here. We're gonna make a diagonal fold along this line and then we're gonna fold it back. And then this is gonna, this flap over here is going to make the monitor. So let's do that. Where the point intersects the, ed, the paper, we're gonna make a kind of a fold over here like that. And then we're gonna make a diagonal where it intersects like that and then where this diagonal intersects the paper we're going to make another fold down like that okay and then we're not going to unfold this and then where the paper intersects this fat part of the diamond we're going to make a fold up so where it intersects make the fold up okay and then this middle line over here we're just gonna fold down actually not we're not gonna fold down all um, at the middle line we're gonna fold down such that this middle line over here intersects with this edge over here so we're gonna fold it like we're gonna fold it in the middle around there okay so fold it like this just fold it down and then it doesn't matter too much about the preciseness but I like having this middle line intersect with this edge over here, like that. And then same thing with the path flap, we're going to fold it up to the fat part of the diamond. And then the flap that we made just now would make up the handle. So this one is going to be the monitor, this one's going to be the handle, and then this one's going to be the rest of the rail. Okay, now we're going to take the handle as well as the rail flaps, fold them down like that. So we have a monitor, and then this is the handle, this is the, the rail. It's going to be like that, and then we're just going to push it in like that, fold it back. Okay, now we're going to take this thing, this handle flap, we're going to do a reverse fold. It's going to make this diagonal like that. So let's do that, mountain fold, and then you're going to make kind of a diagonal such that this edge over here, it aligns with the edge over here. Okay, kind of like that, and then do the same for the other side. Kind of like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing for this bottom flap, but instead of doing it all the way, like at a 90 degree angle, like you see over here, we're gonna do it slightly like lower. You'll see what I mean. So we're gonna just take this up. It's not as precise. We just fold it up. And then instead of going all the way up here, we're gonna go a little bit down to make a little bit of an angle. Just flatten it. Okay. And then we're gonna unfold this. And then we're going to work on narrowing the handle a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this top flap over here. We're going to take this out just a little bit. And then we're going to fold this like thick part up. So there are two layers. There's one and then there's two. We're going to fold both of those up kind of like this. So it goes up to the edge. 
like that. Do the same thing for the other side. Take these two layers, fold them up, and then when you're folding them up, you're gonna fold under this kind of thing. Okay, like that. And then what I like to do is I like to, um, I'm just gonna fold in the middle of this kind of hard, but just to round it out, make it more narrow. Okay, so let's just do that. Takes a bit of power to do this, but it's not super hard. that and then we're gonna unfold it now we're gonna unfold just the top of this like folded thing and then we're gonna be making some um, gonna make a fold down over here so yeah just like a little fold down and this will make the handle look a little bit nicer and then over here, we're going to be making some uh, box pleats, I think. So we're going to do a diagonal fold over here, a diagonal fold over here. And then we're also going to make a little fold in over here. And then that's going to be able to collapse it while making two flaps on the outside. So I'm just going to fold this in like this. Fold this in like this on the diagonal. So it looks like that. And then as you can see, I'm making a little bit of a fold over here. And then we're gonna continue that diagonal like this. And then it flattens out like that. Okay. And then you can just, to shape the handle, you can just fold this in the middle a little bit. Like that. And then you can fold this back in to make it narrow. And then we're gonna refold this flap over here using that reverse fold that we made earlier. Okay. And then we're gonna make uh, what's called a crimp fold. So we're gonna fold it in around here and then we're gonna fold it back. So just in and then back like that. And then to make the seat, we're going to do the same thing around over here. So we're going to unfold this, fold this in, and then fold this back just a little bit, just a little bit. You don't want to waste too much paper here. Kind of like that, so it looks like this. Yeah, kind of like that. And then we're going to do the same thing for the other side. We're going to fold this in. I'm going to fold this back, kind of like this. So it'll look like that, okay? And then we're just gonna fold this in the middle like that. Okay, so now you have your little seat. And then to make the back legs, we're gonna do a reverse fold around here. So just a diagonal. So open it up, make a diagonal over here make a diagonal on the other side to make it symmetrical and then it's gonna squish in if you do it correctly okay like that and then we're gonna make the um, the rail a little bit narrower so we're gonna fold into the inside along this strip kind of like that and then we're gonna just make yeah we're just gonna fold it like that we're gonna unfold it a little bit and then where this flap is kind of sticking out of this, I'm going to fold it in, kind of like that. And this, if you're unfolding it, it's going to look like this. Fold it in. Just make it a little bit narrower. And then we're going to taper it off such that it ends at where this diagonal intersects the edge of the paper. Just like that. Make the crease. Do the same thing with the other side. Alright, and then 
fold it back in. We now have it a little bit narrower. Okay. Now we're going to add a little bit of depth to this. We're going to squish the top of this flap down such that on the folded model, it's going to look like this. So it's kind of flat over here. Right now, it's just an edge. So we're just going to squish it down. So to that, I'm going to start over here. I'm going to squish my finger in a little bit. And then we're just going to continue that squish all the way to the end. It's going to be a little bit harder over here. So I like to unfold it and then make the fold more explicit. Uh, just continuing to the end. Doing the same thing on the other side. Squish it down. Okay, like that. And then the end is a little bit tricky. So this part, it doesn't squish down super well. So you're going to have to like spread this out a bit. You have to bring this flap out, bring this flap out. And then if you bring it out enough, it's going to tend to squish in and then kind of like that okay and then yeah you can spend a little bit of time shaping that a bit better but in the end you're gonna have an edge that's kind of like squished down okay and then over here uh, you're just gonna take this flap fold it into the middle make it a bit narrower like that do the same thing for the other side And then we're going to make another box pleat around this bottom to make the two legs. So we're going to actually, let me turn this around. We're going to do a diagonal over here, a diagonal over here. And then we're going to make um, a fold that connects the diagonal together. So I'm going to fold this in like that. Make a diagonal, make sure it aligns. Same thing on the other side. And then we're going to squish this in and then squish it back in again. And then you have your box pleat. So it'll look like that. Okay. Now with this, we're going to take these tips of the edges and then we're just going to fold them in. So it looks, looks, looks more symmetrical. Take this edge and then just fold it in make it look a little bit nicer okay and then that's your back legs for the erg okay and then let's work on the monitor so we're gonna do a reverse fold over here reverse fold over here Gonna unfold this a little bit and then we're gonna squish this down like that and then we're gonna make a diagonal fold so it looks like that from the top and then we're gonna fold it down like that okay and then we're gonna do another reverse fold but it's kind of like a squish fold we're gonna do it along this diagonal so we're gonna unfold this over here I'm going to squish it back up while holding this down, so pinching it together, opening this up, and then squishing it like that. Okay, kind of like that. And then to make this, at, uh, this corner over here less visible, we're going to do a sink fold. So we're going to, I'm going to unfold this a little bit. I'm going to make a fold over here. I'm going to make a fold over here. And then we're going to make a fold over here. And then that's going to make this bottom edge more flat. So let's do that. I'm going to do a reverse fold. I'm going to pull this up. And then I'm going to, while holding my fingers on, uh, below the creases that we just made, I'm going to squish this paper down. And then you can kind of see it's making folds over here, folds over here. Or I'm not supporting it. And then you want to make sure those folds make the paper align over here. Like that. Squish it down. That's your reverse fold. And then I'm going to make a horizontal fold around here. Like that. 
and then using all of those folds, I, oops, I'm going to squish the model together. Okay, so it's like this, and then we made a horizontal fold, and then while holding these, while holding these folds together, and then holding this fold, I'm going to manipulate the paper such that it makes kind of a kind of a fold like that. So it squishes it down like that. And then we're going to flatten it. Okay, now it looks like that. And then I'm just going to fold these flaps in to make it look a bit narrower. So I'm just going to Hold that in like that, hold that in like that. Okay, now we have this. And then we're almost done. Now we just have uh, a couple more things to do. We need to make the front legs and then we make the, the damper a bit more circular. So to make the front legs, we're gonna make a reverse fold like that, kind of like that. It doesn't matter too much, but it's an angle, so Unfold it, fold this up, reverse fold, and then we're going to make another reverse fold along this edge. Same thing, just keep on going until you run out of paper. And then over here, I'm just going to fold this up to the edge. Since I'm running out of paper, I'm not going to worry too much about like making it perfect. Okay, now we have this. And then we just, to make the legs, we just take these flaps. I fold half of it. And then just fold it half to the sides like that. Like that. And then that's your front legs. And then to make the damper more circular... We're just going to fold these corners in. So let's just fold this corner in like this. I like to um, not fold the legs in all the way to make it a bit more 3D. Same thing for this side. Let's fold the corner in. Okay. For this, you're going to need to take these corners over here spread them out a bit and then if you spread them out enough then you should be able to squish this paper in a bit more neatly than i did but you're going to be able to squish the paper in like that and that'll flatten out the corner like this for these edges it's pretty simple just fold this in and then for these edges you fold this um, this flap in like that. Same thing on the other side. Okay. Oops. Yeah. Okay, and then that's your folded model. And all you have to do now is just make sure to adjust the model such that it stands up. It should be able to stand up pretty easily, but if it doesn't, then just gotta fold, bend the paper and fold it in a way to make it stand up. And there you go.